going on guys welcome back to the channel we are three subscribers away from 800 actually by the time this video posts we might be at 800 subscribers i love all of you so much you guys are killing it um but today is a big big day and the reason today is a big big day is because you see that i have the mustang behind me now if you guys haven't seen the last couple of videos it might look a little different to you guys. So it's a whole car again. Um, yeah. So today's video, we have one thing and one thing only to do, but it's a big thing and it's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, but before we hop into that, I just wanna show you guys, we got a valid license plate on the car. And yes, it is a historic license plate. And you bet your ass, I am going to be leaving the please be patient student driver on the back because I think it's funny. Um, we have registration for the car. We have insurance for the car. This car is 100% legal to be driven on the street, um, which is very, very exciting. This is the first time this thing's been legal to be driven on the street again in about seven years. So we could either run into a ton of issues while we're driving it or in old fashion, this car has never let me down ever, ever. I have never had to tow this car home while it was in my possession. Now, I know I had to tow it home because of the accident, but it was not in my possession at that point. So that's out of my control, but this car has never let me down. So when I went to go look at it, it started right up for me. It just knew. It knew that its owner was back in the picture. So today we have to get the K member done. We have to, there's, there's no way around it. The car doesn't track straight. I have the K member right down over here. So we are going to hammer that out. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. The uh, bolts don't look that great. So, I mean, let's just hop right into it and we're gonna see what we can do. I do still have to go get a steering shaft for this car, but I think what I'm gonna do right now is just reuse the one that's on the car. I'm not really a fan of it because on um, my long tube header, it melted the uh, plastic insert on the steering shaft. So there's play in the wheel. So what I did was I put a bolt through the shaft to tighten it up. And it's not necessarily a good thing because the steering shaft is supposed to collapse in case of an accident, which it's not going to collapse right now. It would have to break the bolt to collapse, which I don't know if it would do that or not. So eventually I am going to go get a steering shaft. I'm thinking maybe Sunday, depending on how far I get today with the K member. But yeah, so I'm going to do my best, try to get this done. This way, hopefully next Thursday, I can bring this thing by my work. I can do a wheel alignment on it and we can actually start using this car. So that would be really, really exciting. Hopefully we get a couple decent drives in before the weather starts getting really bad here so let's see what happens if you're wondering why i'm doing a k member it is because this car was hit on the driver's side it was hit pretty bad obviously i did the tubular front end if you're new to the channel you guys can check that video out to team z tubular front end i already had a qa1 k member on the car when i sold the car to the to the kid that crashed it um but the problem with the k member is is everything's tweaked back towards the driver's side the car itself is straight. Like this part of the frame from the strut tower back is perfectly fine. Um, I measured it out, visually looked at it, everything like that. So our problem that we're having is this wheel is about three inches further towards the driver door than the passenger wheel is. So right now the car doesn't track necessarily straight. Now the car also doesn't have a wheel alignment. I know that has a lot to do with it too, but that's besides the point. Um, the, the point is, is it's bent, it needs to come off. I don't wanna drive the car like this. So I did go ahead and I bought a BMR, red powder coated tubular K member for this car. Should just go right on. I already have the A-arms and coilovers. So I'm gonna to try to take off the least amount of things as possible. I was thinking maybe take the control arm bolts out, take the sway bar link off. I'm gonna pop the tie rod off here, which is actually a bump steer kit, um, but that's where your tie rod, tie rod would be. Then we're going to have to unbolt the steering shaft, get that out of the way. We're going to have to hang the rack up out of the way. Pretty much just get everything off the K-member that needs to come off. And then we have two bolts on each side up top that go straight through the frame. And there's little tab nut thingies that Ford put on top. We need to get those two bolts out. And then there's two more bolts right back in here on the bottom of the K-member underneath the car. So there's a total of eight bolts, four on each side, and the K-member should fall right out. Now the problem we're gonna have is we need to align this K-member. So that's why I have the car lifted so high and it's also lifted in the back. 
Um, I wanted room to work and I know that I'm going to need to hang plumb bobs from certain points on the car, measure it out. You got to measure it in an X and you got to measure front to back, make sure everything's ev even. It needs to be within a 16th of an inch, which I don't think we'll have a problem doing that as long as my estimation's right about nothing being tweaked up here. Um, if something is tweaked, that's really going to suck. I'm going to have to figure out what it is, figure out how to go about it. But I think we're going to be good. Um, it just looks like the K members tweak. So hopefully that is all it is. But I'm going to hop right into this. And um, I'll probably pick you guys back up when I have the arms off the K member, the sway bar link off, and the uh, bump steer kits disconnected. I'll pick you guys back up. I'll show you guys what I need to do underneath. And um, hopefully everything goes smoothly. Hopefully we get it done in a reasonable amount of time. I really hope so. But we'll see what happens. Somebody order a K member, a bent one. Here she is, guys. This was the side of the hit, as you can see. We are bent right there, as opposed to us not being bent right there. The um, Obviously, this back pocket is very, very jacked up. It's actually tweaked with the control arm pocket right there. That one's bent, that one's straight. So you could clearly see why our wheel was further back towards the door rather than being where it's supposed to be. Um, I just want to go off by saying this is extremely sketch because I'm using a 450 pound trans jack to hold up that four valve. And I know that four valve weighs more than 450 pounds. So, uh, we're just going to try to get this thing in as quick as possible. Um, another thing to note too, is I need cave member hardware really bad. So I'm probably not going to put this all back together right this minute today. I'm probably not even going to align the cave member. But it'll be the same video for you guys of me finishing it up. I'm not going to close out the video till the car is done on the ground, ready to go to my job and get a wheel alignment. But for me, it'll probably be a couple days. Either, I'm either going to get hardware from one of my friends or I'm going to have to buy it. Um, the nut plate on this side, the bolt is just spinning. So the nut broke off inside the nut plate. Um, if you guys are unfamiliar, there's a nut plate that goes through the frame right there. It slides right out. It's not a big deal. Like you can replace it. It's, it's not that big a deal, but I got to cut the bolt out and try to get the plate out one piece. This side is actually good, but for changing that one, we're going to change this one also. So you guys know the deal. Guys, okay, So change the plans. I am just going to use the hardware, even though it's technically bad, but I was able to put a vice grip on it and unloosen it so i'm just going to do the same to tighten it um as far as the nut cert goes i can't get it out because i have long tube headers so yeah so that sucks but before the bolt wasn't tight over there anyways so it wasn't doing anything to begin with so i'm just going to put the, the two on one side one on the other side and then you have four bolts up top it was fine for a very long time when i owned this car and I'm sure it'll be fine until I pull this engine out to do the valve stem seals. Um, once I do pull this engine out to do the valve stem seals, I will be getting all new K-member hardware and we'll center the K-member and everything like you're supposed to do. But right now, I, I want to drive my car and I'm going to put it back the way it was. It is what it is. It's not the proper way, but it, it'll get the job done for a little while. Um, I'm just not going to go crazy with the car like this. Um, you know, I'm... I'm not very, I'm not young anymore. I do care about safety and um, I just don't feel comfortable driving the car extremely aggressive, racing it on a track and stuff the way that it's going to be. I really want it right. So once we pull this engine out to do the, the stem seals and everything, I will do a permanent repair on this. But for now, this is what we have to work with and just what it's going to be. Um, I, I really don't think it'll be an issue. It was like this for a very long time. I did a lot of pulls on the highway um, in Mexico. I had done a lot of 160 mile an hour pulls. I never had an issue with the K-Member for shifting, moving, falling out or anything like that. So uh, I think it'll be okay just to kind of cruise around just so I could drive the car. And um, I, think, I think we'll be good. So obviously if I hear any weird noises or anything, obviously I'm gonna <laughs> not drive the car anymore. I'm gonna repair whatever it is, but I think we'll be okay. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to bolt this thing in, get the rest of the car back together, get it back on the ground. And um, I'll be taking it to my work probably next Thursday for a wheel alignment. And then we can actually take the car out, cruise it around, make sure everything's good. Um, we still have to do an oil change. It's not a big deal. I won't film that for you guys. You guys don't need to see an oil change, but yeah. So I'm just going to keep working here and get her done. That's it. That's all you can do. 
Okay, so we're moving right along. So, now, I don't know if I showed you guys this in a previous video, but here, let me get the light for you guys real quick. Okay. So, the, you see how that sway bar link is now straight? Before, it was like that. It was like on an angle towards the rear of the car, which tells me that this unibody right here is perfectly fine. Thank God. So that's straight. And then if we come around to the other side, you'll see that the other side now matches and it's perfectly straight. So very excited, very excited. Um, means that we should be in spec. Just from looking at the tire placement here, it looks like it's smack dab in the center. My coilover is no longer hitting the um, piece of metal up here, the sheet metal which before it was resting up against it, not good at all. Uh, same concept over here. We have a nice gap between it. Actually, the coilover is all the way down right now, but there's a nice gap over here. I know you guys can't see, it's pretty dark. But yeah, so wheel looks pretty well centered in the wheel well. So I just gotta finish up tightening up the control arm bushings, tightening up the sway bar bushings, putting the steering rack back up, the tie rods on, the bump steer kit, whatever you want to call it. They're tie rods though. Those need to go back on and um, be able to put our wheels on and then we're off to get an alignment. So pretty excited guys. I'll pick you guys up when I get pretty much everything back together. I'll show you guys what I got. And um, yeah, we'll close this video out after that. And that'll be that. All right guys, so. K members in, everything's tight, everything's good to go. Wheels are centered, as you can see here. We are no longer that way with the wheel almost touching the fender. I do still have it up on jack stands because I need to do a steering shaft in the car. So I'm gonna go grab the steering shaft on Sunday from the junkyard. But other than that, everything's tight. Wheels, like I said, are perfectly centered. So once we grab the steering shaft, we're gonna be taking it to my job, doing a wheel alignment on it, and hopefully it's gonna be ready to rip. So if you guys like what you saw in today's video, please drop a like up on this video, drop a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in next week's video, Friday, 12 p.m. And yeah, that's all I have for you today. So hopefully we're ripping pretty soon. Uh, the, probably, the next video will probably be me driving the car for the first time in seven years. So that should be an exciting video, it'll probably be like a vlog type video. But yeah, so until next time, peace out. Suspects are in custody this afternoon, now facing charges after a police-involved shooting in Newark overnight. After the overnight shootout between officers and at least two gunmen. People nearby describing the scene around midnight as a tense standoff. Investigators say Newark officers have been patrolling the area when they confronted the suspects, one of them pointing a gun at the officers.